Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video. This is not any normal video. This is a special video because this is 100k special Q&A. And yes, I know a lot of you might be pausing the video just to watch my tattoo, but regardless of that, let's roll that intro. Before I take on onto your questions and everything I go out there, this is a sidebar and I just want to say this video can be a little bit longer because I just wanted to talk to you guys directly, just you and me, raw talk. So it can be a little bit longer, so please excuse me for that. For this special 100k Q&A, a lot of questions came on and I posted a thread for posting your questions on my Facebook. Yes, I am on Twitter now uh, with this handle, but still I'm not that much active on Twitter. But yes, finally the app is there in my phone. And yes, call me old school here, but still most of the questions that I picked up here and almost all of them are from the Facebook. I didn't pick up the question that were sent to me in inbox or uh, in my email because I forgot that. Excuse me for that. But regardless of that, let's get started. And there were a lot of questions. I have picked up like funny ones and good ones uh, so that we can make this a fun video and entertaining as well as educational content for this 100K special Q&A. The first and the most asked question was people wanted to know a lot more about me. A lot of people know a little bit about me that what I do and what I stuff, but people were interested to know a lot about my childhood and stuff like that. Now probably I'll make a separate video on that but just to answer your question briefly here my childhood was totally rough uh, totally like broke uh, completely broke to be honest I didn't have much of the things and enough things to get uh, all these amazing things like cameras and laptop yes so I have struggled quite a lot but the moment I started programming everything was really great and in fact I'm now one of the lucky persons who can actually do uh, whatever he likes to do uh, being on YouTube or coding or programming or traveling around the world driving the Harley these are like uh, the things that I wanted to do ever and I'm doing them right now so it's kind of a dream come true apart from that uh, it's not something that uh, that is so much to share at least in this video for sure I'll talk more about my education qualification and everything maybe later on in some other video I do have a kind of my resume video there up there but just to give you a context about my education yes I am engineer uh, by degree as well as by passion as well most of the time I make YouTube videos and code I love to be called as programmer as well as youtuber so that's a brief intro about that I am a big fan of iced tea as well as good quality coffee you might have seen that in Sunday lives and everything I'm insanely crazy about good quality iced tea as well as coffee fan as well. I have so many friends but yes a couple of them are really close to me because they are my childhood friend but I absolutely love to meet people make new friends all around the globe. You can call me kind of a friendly nature. I have been to various colleges and those people are still in touch with me and I absolutely love that part. See this can be a little bit longer so maybe we'll talk about what what is all about me and everything maybe in a later on video right now let's just move on and talk about the questions that are far more interesting than knowing about me. Okay so the official question number one comes up here what is daily routine make a vlog on it. I may try to make a vlog on my lifestyle maybe in the upcoming future but I think it will not be that much interesting or to be very honest I will not be able to make it that much interesting so that's why I don't do it. Most of my day is on my chair and I just sit in front of computer and write code for that. Apart from that two hours are always dedicated in exercise one hour of gym not very much he heavy weight lifting kind of a stuff but regular moments and all that and one hour of swimming so that's my two hour of exercise yes of course almost daily no Sunday exception in that on Sundays I don't do gym but still I do swimming so that's kind of a, my daily routine. Apart from this daily routine, my friends usually drop at my home. Sometimes we play PlayStation, uh, talk nonsense things about what's happening at Pluto or maybe what's happening in Canada or something like that. Just all crazy stuff that usually all the friends talk about. So usually I do that as well. And that's kind of uh, my routine part. And apart from that, yes, I do travel like insanely. Uh, I have even stopped posting my check-ins on uh, airports and everything because it's too much of the travel but yes maybe in the future I'll try to put a vlog uh, it can be interesting if I'll be able to make it otherwise if the things are not interesting for YouTube I actually don't make it I found this question really interesting and impressive it says who are your favorite youtubers 
yes they are youtubers i absolutely love watch video content and i'll name only precise a few of them but yes i'm pretty sure i'll miss a lot of them now two guys uh, which i watch regularly are mkbhd and kc nightstar uh, the reason why i watch them because their composition their shots lighting and everything the way they ha handle these camera stuff is absolutely insane plus i love the way how mkbhd is dealing with the youtube the quality of the content the amount of reviews that he gave it's all precise and the best part is he is not just always saying all negative things about the things he can understand that how much it takes to make a phone or something like that he gives precise thing and always says that hey maybe the earbuds are not good i would like to see the version 2 of them and he understands the tech that how tech actually evolves in the future and uh, how it should be done so not bragging about it but yes i love to watch the content of these two youtubers at most apart from these two youtubers uh, from india i love to watch the channel known as i gyan uh, i don't know if you know about it or not but yes again i call him as indian mkbhd he handles camera absolutely nice all those nice reviews nice audio everything is so amazing about it now i don't get much of the time in watching the youtube so i watch these three channel like more of the time rest of my time on the youtube actually goes in watching the comedy videos that's not a big time amount uh, but still it's a very small chunk amount time and in that i watch comedy videos especially from the channel happyfy it's amazing it's hilarious it's educational what more i can ask and yes all time favorite youtubers like zakir khan and atul khatri and uh, all these I, i forgot the name of a lot of them but yes these groups i always watch them karan talwar being one of them veer das one of them i i love to watch them uh one thing i always take care while watching the youtube is i don't watch abusive content now i have a theory i believe that the more kind of abusive content you're going to hear you'll feel that it's actually cool to be abusive and just to say anything anything about any person i completely avoid that i don't like the content so it's not like that i'm going to be going on to their channel hitting the thumbs down and all of that no i don't do that i simply don't like that content i don't watch it and that's kind of a my personal choice i don't like abusive content i like the comedy which is pure uh, which is satire or maybe on politics or anything i just love to watch that and that's where most of the youtubers that i follow here yes i know i am missing out a lot of youtubers that i watch uh, kind of a instantaneous answer here between you and me so i forgot a lot of them back to the tech this channel is all about tech so how can we miss some of the good tech questions it's a good one actually it says learn php or node js for freelancing now here is the difference there are projects for both available for php as well as for node js but the quantity and the quality where it matters if you want to do a lot of projects lot of quantity go for php because there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of projects on php recently one student said that after taking your course uh, on php as well as front end developer now i am making 400 dollars monthly through the php now it's completely possible and probably chances are high that he'll be doing like a number of projects with the php on top of that if you want to do some kind of quality work of course it's going to take a lot out of you compared to the php it will be tougher but it will get you more amount of money so node js if you want to do like one project a month and want to earn like 1200 or 3 uh, 1300 dollars per month that would be node js so yes projects are there for both of them uh, for beginners i would obviously recommend php okay so this one is little bit repetitive but it's actually cool it says where can i find resources to practice for html css and javascript i have completed course but still not confident okay this is common now first of all when you actually do any kind of course uh it will give you like 50 to 60% of confidence which is good enough because you know the tech now but after that the projects are required now after doing the projects you will even get just 90% or 85% of confidence and that key important part 15% is still missing the reason behind that is that instructor have teach you uh, taught you everything about html css js even making a project workflow all of that still you will get 85% of confidence the rest of the 15% will only come up when you will design the project completely on your own of course it's going to be a little bit tough but this is actually which gives you immense amount of confidence and the ability to say that yes whatever is going to come up i'm going to handle it so yes you are missing a little bit of project work come on do that and you'll be absolutely fine okay so this is a little bit about my thoughts and it says sir how much uh, you expect from a final year computer engineering student 
Now, I do expect a lot and I do agree, I do feel guilty that I do expect a lot. And again, I do have a theory for that again. Now, I believe when a student is in final year, he knows a lot about uh, Friends, he knows a lot about Game of Thrones, he knows a lot about Prison Break, and of course, let's just say give or take at least 8 to 10 seasons that he's watching continuously. So if a final year student, just by giving like uh, one hour or two hour in the night, can learn a lot about these seasons, why cannot he learn a lot about the technology? I expect he should be aware, of course, HTML, CSS, JavaScript is kind of a bare minimum basic. Everybody who is an engineer should be aware of it. I also expecting that he should not be proficient, but still be good, having a good knowledge about uh, Android, a little bit about iOS, or maybe what's happening latest in the market, like React, Angular. I'm not saying he should be able to code in that, but he should be aware of these technology. If he has done kind of a like uh, five or 10 projects in that, that's awesome. Uh, but at least these kinds of technologies should be aware to him. I know I'm asking a lot from a final year student, which is not even being touched in the university. But yes, this is a market demand. When you'll move out in the Silicon Valley of India or in the United States, you will be asked these kinds of questions. So from a final year engineering students, I do expect that he should have this amount of knowledge at least. A little bit optimistic question here. What should, I, what should I do if I don't know anything about web design, but I want to make a paid, perfect website within a day? Look, my friend, there are a lot of things that we wish. I really wish that there should be a flight which can, which can take me from New Delhi to Australia within two hours. Doesn't happen. I also wish that while traveling from any country to any country, there should be no visa process and I can directly land into any country. Doesn't happen. A lot of people expect that they should not get any error in their programming life, but it doesn't happen. See, what I'm trying to say that programming is kind of a no magic button that can you can click on that and it will create an amazing, awesome website according to you. Yes, there are platforms like Wix and WordPress, but again, these are not much of kind of a customization that is available to that. If you want to make a website from core HTML, CSS and want to have full control, it takes time. This is not a magic that you can do within a night or within a day or within an hour. It doesn't happen like that. You have to work hard, you have to get experience and then only things work. Hey, get real here. There is no magic being served. Okay, I didn't expect it, this kind of question. Still it appeared and it says, who was your first crush? Let's keep everything technical. Let's not go into in-person way here, but I would say my first crush technically was MacBook Pro. I know this sounds weird, but being technical person, uh, let's just keep this channel not onto a love guru channel, but keeping it onto a technical channel. Uh, the moment I saw MacBook Pro, I, I actually got an idea that yes, I want this, I'll have this. No matter how hard I have to work for it, I am gonna buy this. Cool question, because it says it's cool. Cool. How many hours do you sleep in a day and how many hours do you spend on coding? Okay, uh, I feel too guilty about it because I steal a lot of time from my sleep time into my work time. And uh, yes, I am not proud of it that I'm stealing a lot of time out of my sleep. This is not healthy, but I'm guilty of it. I do it. And probably in the future, I can see myself wearing the glasses like Casey Neistat. And the reason why Casey always wears sunglasses because he also takes a lot of time from his sleep into his work. And no matter what you do, you can be on camera with good lights and everything, you can look healthy and everything, but your eyes actually speaks for itself. And when you don't sleep that much, uh, sometimes your eyes become red. I have shot a lot of videos with my red eyes, swollen eyes. So probably I think maybe in the future I can also get Casey, Casey Neistat sunglasses and can shoot videos like that. Probably not gonna happen in the near future. This question is for all the people who are masters or maybe in the PhDs or something like that. So it says, sir, how to get complete knowledge in NS3? Any help available? I do believe and I do agree with you that NS3 is tough. It's not just tough, it's really, really tough because it, uh, it requires you to have a knowledge of Linux, as well as uh, network simulators, a lot of network algorithms, as well as C++, Linux. So it's a lot to take on, even on to a master degree student or a PhD degree student. Uh, unfortunately, there are no books or nothing available on NS3. Uh, way back, I created a few videos which are still the most popular videos on the planet on NS3. So go ahead and watch them. 
Apart from that, unfortunately, there is no book on NS3 or nothing else. You have to dig down into documentation and have to do research. Sorry about that, but that's the truth. A question related to freelancing. A lot of you might love this. Uh, I just want to know how to write good description in freelancing for getting first project. Here is my first tip that is applicable on 2017, November 2017. Do not copy paste even a single word in the project submission of the bidding that you are applying on the freelancing. Now freelancing has different rules than what it used to have. It's all like more strict, but it's actually good for everyone. Now what they are doing now is even if you copy paste even a single word, they are gonna punish you a lot. So don't copy paste, try to understand what client is asking and try to a kind of a personalized proposal to him and obviously it makes much more easier now for actual genuine bidders who have knowledge to bid onto a project and get the project. The main point in the freelancing is to understand the client's requirement and then bidding according to it. Now a lot of people just copy and paste uh, their proposals. It, it doesn't work like that. Even freelancing is punishing everybody. So the main point here is try to understand what the client is asking. If you already have such kind of project, don't even hesitate to attach uh, that link of the project in the proposal. It will help you a lot because client will understand that yes, this person has done this kind of work already in the past. So he will be able to understand my projects, deals and all the things that are required in this project. And chances are high that you're gonna get your first project very soon. Best of luck. Okay, so let's take one more question, the final one. And it says, first of all, thank you so much, sir, for Learn Code Online LCO. Thank you so much. Uh, is a beautiful place for learning with a great teacher like you and sir my question is in 2018 will you go in other countries or will you be staying in Jaipur? I want to have a cup of coffee with you sir. Uh, definitely very soon in the Jaipur I'll plan to meet out, uh, put a small meet up for everybody who is living in Jaipur. Uh, of course coffee is going to be all on me for all of you who are coming on the Jaipur. Hope you don't come like in hundreds and thousands of quantity just like few 10 or 20s. I can only afford that much of the coffee here. As far as the part and the plans are for 2018, yes, there are of course plans for travel. Uh, travel is kind of unavoidable for me and probably I'll make a video on why do I travel so much and why I love to explore all these countries. But yes, I do have big plans for the traveling in 2018 as well. I have done a lot of traveling in the past as well. I absolutely love that. And for sure, very soon we'll catch up a meeting. Uh, we'll probably have an iced tea or maybe a coffee if those guys can make good coffee. But again, iced tea is always good there. Okay, so this was a long, long Q&A session and I really enjoy making these Q&A videos because I can answer to you directly, one-on-one -on -one to you. I absolutely love these kinds of videos. So with this, that's it for this video. In case you are new to this channel, we talk a lot about programming, crazy technical stuff and all these things. So in case you are new here, do consider subscribing. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And just like always, I'll surely catch you up in the next video.